One skill that you'll find in all great groove drummers is control. You can tell that there's intentionality in everything that they play. They're able to compose on the spot, choose the notes that they wanna play, and lock it all in at the same time. On the other hand, with more beginner drummers, there can be a good bit of chaos happening when they play. Things tend to change randomly from measure to measure, and they can struggle to lock in and repeat any one idea for very long. And it's that lack of control that prevents them from making their beats feel good and creating that hypnotic effect that gets people moving. So today, if you wanna improve the level of control in your grooves, then I've got an exercise for you. It's really straightforward. We're gonna start with a simple beat, and every eight measures, we're gonna add another note into the beat to make it more and more challenging as time goes on. The goal is to lock everything in as you go, make it all feel good, and stay loose in the process. This will not only improve your control and intentionality when you play, but it'll also show you how the tiniest detail of adding a ghost note in here or an open hi-hat there can majorly influence the feel of a beat. So let's get into this. I've got three exercises for you at three different tempos. We'll start at a slower tempo and then gradually speed things up. Let's do this.
Right on, now let's raise the tempo up a bit and add in some trickier subdivisions on the bass drum. Remember to stay loose. Now this last one's gonna be a good bit faster, so I'd recommend lowering your stick heights and playing a bit lighter to make it easier. Let's make it happen.
Awesome job, everybody. Now, if you struggle to make it through all three exercises, no worries at all. I'd pinpoint those problem areas, break them down a bit and practice them on your own, and then come on back and test your skills out again. It's all about making everything feel as smooth and effortless as possible, and repetition really is the key. For those of you that wanna shed over this at home, I'll have the transcriptions, practice loops, and the offline version of this video all linked in the description box. But that's gonna do it for this one, everybody. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you all next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.